Happy Friday Eve, YouTube. It's X Men 1991 back again with another video. Two topics in this one rant. Welcome back to another edition of my food reviews, and welcome to another edition of my Throwback Thursday Ruthless Aggression Era rant. But before we get into my Throwback Thursday Ruthless Aggression Era rant, I got another food that I'm going to be reviewing. It pretty much seems that uh, Bluebell keep coming up with all these amazing new flavors of ice cream. We're going to be reviewing the new Bluebell I Love Cereal Ice Cream. It's pretty much a Fruity Pebbles flavor. I'm telling you, Bluebell always comes up with these new flavors of ice cream. Last new flavor that I did a review on was the... The oatmeal, the oatmeal cookie ice cream flavor. I forgot what that flavor is called. Now they come up with this. The I love cereal flavor. It's pretty much Fruity Pebbles. So I bought this when I went grocery shopping at my job last week. And I saw that they got this new flavor of Bluebell ice cream. So I decided why not come on here, buy it and do a review on it. So, let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Pretty good. Tastes exactly, it's tastes exactly like fruit pebbles. What made Bluebell want to come up with this new flavor of ice cream? It feels like I'm eating fruit pebbles, not Bluebell ice cream. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Bluebell, you guys definitely come up with the most unexpected flavors of your ice cream. Last year, you came out with the strawberry lemonade. You brought back the peppermint bark. You came up with the sugar oatmeal cookie flavor. Now you came out with this. And you came out with a salted brownie flavor. Wow. So you know what? I'm definitely gonna give this a 10 and this gets an A plus. You guys can go out, buy yourself this. That tastes pretty good. Tastes exactly like Fruity Pebbles. Mmm. Damn, this tastes so good. Now let's get to my Throwback Thursday Ruthless Aggression Era rant. Today has been 20 years since the 2003 WWE No Way Out aired on pay-per-view. This pay-per-view took place, of course, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This pay-per-view was for both the Raw and SmackDown brand divisions. The first No Way Out pay-per-view under the World Wrestling Entertainment name and the first WWE pay-per-view in Montreal since that infamous Montreal screw job at the 1997 Survivor Series. So as usual, before I show y'all the highlights, I gotta read the results. And a shout out to Mike Henry, Yusuke Knight, and Juggalo Jigsaw Gamer. Anytime I drop an Attitude Era or Ruthless Aggression Era rant, their links to their YouTube pages will be in the description down below. The first match was the pre-show that was on Sunday Night Heat on MTV. By the way, that's another show that's turning 25 this year, the WWE Sunday Night Heat on August 2nd. 
I definitely need to come on and reminisce 25 years of Sunday Night Heat. If I can find a clip of the very first episode. So the first match was the pre-show. Rey Mysterio versus Jamie Noble with Rey Mysterio as the winner. Next, Jeff Hardy versus Chris Jericho. A World Tag Team Championship match. RVD and Kane versus William Regal and Lance Storm. <clears throat> Excuse me. A Cruiserweight Championship match. Matt Hardy versus Billy Kidman. The Undertaker versus Paul White. A three on two handicap match. Team Angle versus Chris Benoit and Brock Lesnar. The last three matches are my favorites, and all three of these guys won their match. A World Heavyweight Championship match. Triple H versus Scott Steiner. The Raw main event. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Eric Bischoff. And the SmackDown main event. A WrestleMania 18 rematch. The Rock versus Hulk Hogan. This was the last No Way Out pay-per-view event for The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold's first pay-per-view event since the 2002 uh, Judgment Day. Because remember, for the remainder of 2002, he took his ball and quit. You all know that story. So without further ado, here are the highlights of the 2003 WWE No Way Out pay-per-view. Thank you. 